everyone, my name is Kate. Some of you may know me as Tay Tay, that's what I normally go by. And I'm an admin on a Facebook page, it's called Not Just a Prison Wife. If you're not a fan of it, go like it. I'm on there daily, I try to interact as much as possible with all my fans. I love it. And it's a fantastic page for support. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm here because I was asked to do a blog about being a prison wife and how I deal with it being my age the kids, my own business, and, you know, the daily struggles that we have. So, I'm going to do that, and, sorry, I'm addicted to coffee. Also, along with this vlog, I'll be giving you a lot of helpful tips. Now, today, I'm going to talk about the tips I wish I had someone to tell me when I first started at this. So, you get that dreadful call that your husband, your boyfriend your baby dad got locked up and it's like your world ends at that point but you gotta stop take a deep breath and calm down because life goes on and we can get through this there's a lot of women doing it we're not gonna be the first we're never not gonna be the last and as long as you remind yourself that you're strong enough to deal with this and as long as your love is true and pure you'll get through this um the first thing, of course, is after you get the call, you're going to want to get minutes on your phone because that's one of the biggest lifelines between you and your loved one. Um, from my knowledge, there's two telephone companies that most jails, prisons use, and that's Global Telelink and Syracuse. I don't know too much about Syracuse, but I know enough about Global Telelink because that's what me, my husband, they use. Now, um, with Global Telelink, there's a 1-800 number, I can get that for you, or I think it's a 1-866 number. Hold on. It is 1-800-483-8314. And you can set up your account and put minutes on your phone with that. Or you can go online, it's offendersconnect.com. And you can set up an account that way as well. Minimum to put on $25. Some people told me they found ways to put five ten dollars on. I haven't found that way, and I've been doing this for four years now. So, anyone knows, let me know <laughs> because where he's at, it doesn't work like that. But hey, I'll do the $25 because it gives me more calls. Second thing is everything I have in this little box right here. This is my world, can't see it right here. Okay. Now, at first, when I first started at being a prison wife, I was buying notebooks. I was wasting so much money on notebooks. I was spending like $10, $15 a month on notebooks because I write a lot. I write three times a day. So, I went, got me a little binder. It's a dollar. And I use, oops, sorry, my letters from today. Loose leaf paper. Normally 98 cents for a pack. Lasts me a lot longer than the notebooks were. Um, now you're probably like, how can you write so much if you write him every day? I write him in the morning and lunchtime and before I go to bed. In the morning I write him about how the kids woke me up, what I'm cooking for breakfast, how the house smells like coffee, and that's really what's getting me out of bed. Nothing else gets me out of bed, but coffee will. If you can't tell, I'm addicted. I love my coffee. I think I told you that. Don't mind. My mind's kind of everywhere. Um, I just try and make it feel as much as I can that he's at home. During the afternoon when I write him, it's normally on my lunch break. And I just tell him how my day's been, if a customer pissed me off, or you know, if someone cut me off in traffic, everything I would normally want to call him up or talk to him about when I got home, I let him know. At nighttime, I'll write him about what I cooked for dinner, and how the kids went to bed for me, if they cleaned up well. I keep him in, as involved as possible so, you know, like when he calls my daughter, they'll talk and he can be like, oh Tegan, you didn't do this or you didn't do that and it's not, she knows, like, she knows daddy's not home but she knows that daddy knows everything but she doesn't know how daddy knows everything. She's only three so that's why. She doesn't comprehend that he's in prison. 
Um, okay, so next envelopes. I get the large envelopes because some papers I send him I don't want folded and I send him a lot of pictures. I send him lots and lots of pictures and I'll send them right in these. Normally where I send when I mail thirty the most I mailed was thirty three pages of paper and fifty two pictures in one envelope and it cost me two dollars and two oh one. Next these are little envelopes, you know, dollar store. Okay. These right here. This is called Groovebook. It's amazing. If you don't have the app on your phone, get it. You'll love it. It prints pictures right off your phone. And they're nice quality pictures. I don't know if you can see that. But that's my youngest. And it's $2.99 a month. But after you order one, you get a free code in the back. I don't know. Hopefully you can see that. If not, the code is R-U-T-L-I-N-G-2-0. You put the promo code in, and it'll give you a free book, and you got your first book for free on me. Next thing is, there's another app. It's called Free Birds. It's an amazing app. I love it to death. I send them to my husband, my brothers, and my brother-in-law. So, you go, you take a picture, you pick your picture out. This is a picture of my, two of my babies. And you get a picture on the front, a little advertisement that they make you pick and another sample of the picture and then on the back is a letter that you wrote to your your loved one and you can actually fill in it's a decent size my husband loves to get these he was the first one in his prison to get them and now since over time he gave it out to other people but for a while he was the only one getting them and it's completely free so it's a very good thing and they'll love it next you know I got color pens, every single color, because my husband, that's all this is, all my color pens, pencils, and stamps. I use a lot of different colors, because I don't want him to get all black, all blue, so I do like pink, purple, and orange one day, and I'll do different colors every day, try to mix it up, give him some color in his life. Um, now with stamps, the amazing thing with stamps, I didn't find this out until a couple days ago. You can buy stamps on eBay. I bought today 120 stamps for $54. It makes each stamp like 45 cents. So in the long run, you're saving. Any savings to me is great. And I love, love shopping on eBay. Uh, the next thing in my box, colored pencils. I color on everything. Envelopes, I make everything bright and beautiful. So even before his name is called for mail, he knows he has mail by just the envelopes he can see. Uh, I mail daily. Also, with stamps, I forgot to tell you, you can get the cleaner awesome from the dollar store. And you clean off the stamp. It takes off the void mark from the post office. Saves you a lot of money if you type on money. Okay, next thing in my little box, perfume. I spray every piece of paper I sent him. Just so he smells me. And this one's Nia Moves. Oh, favorite. He bought it for me. Two years ago, I think, for Christmas, and since then I've been hooked. So, all his letters come with this on it. And then the last thing in my book is a little lip gloss. I kiss every paper. He always has a kiss for me. So he gets three kisses a day. Sometimes I send more. Like, I'll just kiss white construction paper and cut them out and mail them to him. Everyone in there thinks I'm crazy. I am. I know. Um... You're going to have a lot of people try to put you down for being with someone in jail. You're going to try to have a lot of friends and betray you, stop talking to you. I lost 90% of my friends. My family, besides my mom and my dad, my family don't speak to me. They don't agree with my relationship and they want me to divorce them. But I don't believe in divorce at all. So that won't happen. Um, but... The way I deal with it is, you know, his family's awesome. Like, I'm very lucky my in-laws are, like, the greatest. I couldn't want better in-laws. And, um, you know, I rely on my husband a lot. I write him. He's my best friend. We talk twice a week. And... Sorry, I didn't realize I was going to be talking this much. 
Um, we talk twice a week, but he calls me three times a day, even on the days we don't talk. He calls me in the morning. He calls me right at like 9.30 just to tell me good morning. He'll call me around like lunchtime between 12 and 1. And then he calls me before they lock in for the night to just tell me good night and hug some kisses. It's the little things like that that keep my relationship with him going. Um, it does get easier at times and then at times I feel like I'm at the beginning and I just want to break down and cry up, cry in my bed. Um, you gotta find your support. I found my support mainly my Facebook. Like, there's a lot of great groups on there. A lot of them will cause drama, but there's some really good ones. Like I said, I'm an admin on Not Just a Prison Wife. I love my fans. I talk to them daily. Some, A lot of them have my phone number, and we talk. Like, another prison wife is going to be your best friend because she understands your pain. And, I mean, that's all I can think of right now. Remember ladies, stay strong, love your husband, love your boyfriend, keep the fight on, never give up on them. If there's something you want to talk to me, like want me to make a video on, leave it as a comment, inbox me on Facebook, like I said, not just another prison wife, like it. <laughs> I know I'm probably like, so I can see this out with my page, but I am, I, I love it. And um, I'll probably do one video a week or at least try to my life's kind of hectic three kids i own my own business and i work an overnight job from home so i'll try as hard as i can to make them and if i don't make one before christmas or the holidays i hope you all have a merry christmas happy holidays if you don't celebrate christmas enjoy your day and that's all i'll talk to y'all later